Ah, just hanging out with this awesome hydroponic system. Hydroponic? That's right, I said hydroponic. Growing my plants in water. I'll show you how you build one of these yourself. Hey, and right before I show the video, click that subscribe button right down below. Now, I'll let you go to the video. Thank you. All right, so now we're in the basement here. We're gonna go in and start assembling this. It's best to start putting it together here in the basement because you're most likely not gonna be able to get it down your stairs. So I started cutting my PVC in half and I chose to go a little bit more than four feet. I'm doing 52 inches. The reason why I'm not doing the whole five feet is because I'm gonna need a small little piece for the elbows that connect the, the main channels together. I'll show you what I'm talking about when I get to that point. So I got my two piece cut right there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my other one at 52 and have a little 16 inch left over. To cut these half, to cut these in half, I'm just using my sawzall. I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a cut. There we go. Got my four main channels I'm gonna be putting those net pots into, cut, and ready to go. How are you doing? Uh, That's fine. Uh, uh. Laurel, you wanna play? Or saw that we got those main supply lines or those supply channels cut. We're gonna go ahead and start building out our frame to hold those. All right, so we have half of it built already. We have a piece going up, over, and down. We're gonna repeat that right here. And don't worry, I'll have all the dimensions um, in this video description, so you don't need to worry about it. I'll have everything for you. Just go ahead and do each side as a mirror of each other. So how I did that side, exactly I'm gonna do it this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my 90 degree elbow, I'm gonna pop it right on there. Then I have one cut at six and a half inches, I'm gonna pop that right in there. Then we're gonna take our 45, so instead of doing the fold down, it's just gonna come out. I'm gonna pop it right there. Then I have a three foot section, I'm gonna put it right in there. And then we'll come down here. Okay, so down here, the three foot is coming right down. We're gonna go ahead and grab our another 45. I'm gonna put it right there. So your 45. Then we have another section right here. You're gonna pop that right in there and push it right in. There we go. That is the base of our frame. We have two four foot for our cross. Then this is 32 and a half that way. 32 and a half that way. And then these are three feet, we have a 90 to a T with a little bit of um, length right there, 45 to a three, three foot, another 45, that's six and a half, and we have another 90 going straight down. This is three feet going up, and then that, and then we just repeat that side. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these three inch clamps and we're gonna put them on our cross beam going down. So I'm gonna put my first one right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw it in right there. So right here, I'm gonna mount my clamp. I'm gonna make sure that is pointing up so I can easily get my drill in there. I guess you could do it from the bottom, but I wanna do it from the top. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right in there and I'm gonna put another screw right below it. I'm just gonna start drilling in the hole first. I'm gonna screw it in, take it out, and put it in. All right, now let's try it. There you go. Now get my other screw. I'm gonna put another one right there. 
just give a little bit more stability, a little bit more support. So I'll hold this thing up. And I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that right over there. And I'll show you what we do next. Sleeping on the job. The dog. Now we're gonna grab our main supply line that all of our plants are gonna be living in and shove them right through these three inch clamps. Right over to the other one there. Well, I have to admit a mistake I did on my original design. I said the cross members were four feet, but when I went and put my main supply lines up, they were just to size. That's because I did four, four feet, so it ended there, and I had a couple more inches, and it just fit right in there. Super easy fix. All I did is took a probably about three inches off right there and right down there push it together and now they should fit perfectly I'll show you and as you can tell they're fitting a lot I got a lot more room to spare before they were fitting right in there so I got that one line um, in place and I got the one on the bottom now what I'm gonna do is I want to get two more in here so I'm just gonna take this and do some measurement Got a little knuckle buster. This got me some band-aid here. Like a pro. She must have to do this a lot for me. All right, so what we're gonna do next, grab our drill. We're gonna tighten these up. I've already tightened these up. Go ahead and just tighten this one up right there. Now it doesn't need to be super perfect. We're just doing it just so we can get our other pieces in. All right, so we wanna grab next, we're gonna to go to grab some of our 90 degree three inch elbows. We're gonna put one on right up here. We're gonna put one right up here on the top. So the way this is gonna be is our main supply. It's gonna come up from a pump into here. Go there. Come out, go into that one. Repeat, go into that one. And that's gonna drain right back into our bucket. So you see we have here, we have a little gap right here, which is okay. We'll just cut a little small piece to fit in there. Shoot down. See right there, it was really tight. We still need to get a piece in there. So what we're probably gonna do is we're gonna loosen up our clamps so we can have some wiggle room, get a small piece in there. Then we're gonna come across and check and see how it is for that too. All right, so I got my pieces in. Nothing's glued in at all. Just a disclaimer here, nothing's glued in at all. I'm gonna go ahead and glue it, take it all apart and glue it all together when I'm all done. So I have all of those in, and now I need to grab my other PVC pipes that I have here. One goes right up top right here. This will be the main supply line coming in. What I have is a reducer. If it goes in to another reducer, so then my Main line can go in. Now here in the bottom, I have my three inch, so three inch to inch and a half, pop that on. Then I have an elbow that pops right in there. And then that will drain right into my bucket. That's the system. All right, so we're almost done here. The next step we need to do is we need to start drilling our holes in our supply lines. So I'm using three inch net pots I go ahead and grab a three inch bit. So I'm using a three inch bit right here. And I have them marked from right there to right there at six inches. I'm gonna start separating about six inches apart. Go ahead and put the drill in there, drill the hole. So I already got one done right there, one right there. Go ahead and just drill the next holes that I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, five more to do. I'll have a total of seven 
and along each pipe. All right, so again, I got them six inches apart. I'm gonna go ahead and just start drilling the next few of them. I'm gonna go all the way down. Be careful right when it hits, it's gonna grab and twist your, your hand. Make sure you got a really good firm grasp of the drill. And then just go nice and slow. There you go, got the one hole done. I'm gonna go ahead and complete the rest. I need to make sure I get this plastic out first before I do the rest. Because I don't have this thing glued together, this uh, brace right here, this brace right here keeps coming apart. There you go, just like that, I got them all going. Now I had to make some minor adjustments as I was going down. You could do the same thing, just adjust it when you need to. Um, the dimensions started getting a little bit smaller and smaller, so I had to start widening them out the, the farther down I went. And there we go, I got the net pots in there. I ran out of three of them, so I just left those um, empty there. What I do need to do is I do need to get a piece of plastic that will kind of um, put a little, build a little dam in right there. What we can use are these leftover pieces that came from here. So if we cut if we cut them in half, they should be able to fit right in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just glue them in there. And what I'll do is just help keep the water in there. We want to be able to keep our roots resting in water. And as we pump more water in, it'll just rise the level up a little bit. And then it'll go over and go down to the next. So now that we have the system all up, I got my submergible pump. In the water, I have my discharge right there. Let's go ahead and turn around and see how it works. I have a little switch here. Pump turns on. Just pumping the water in here. You take this net pot out, you see the water pouring through. And you should see it coming out of here in a second. There you go. And you can see now it's completely empty, but once we get that little dam in right there, It'll keep the water in there, so then when your plants are in these net pots, the roots will be in the water. As you can see on the lower level here, we're not gonna need to have a dam in here because the water's built up there. It's because the drain stops right there, so it's kind of acting like the dam. So our bottom tube, we're not gonna need to put one of those dams in. Do we get our dams in? We get our net pots, we fill them with these clay pebbles, and then we can put our plants in there. Alrighty, so we got our roots. God, I love these roots. Simple little plant, all these amazing roots here. We're gonna go ahead and get this set in the net pot. I have another video that I've done on this if you want a lot more detailed instructions on how to do it. Click down below in the descriptions and I'll have a link to how I did my um, plants in my mason jar hydroponic system. I'll give you a lot more details on how to get these in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this set in my net pot, get it around those clay pebbles really well, get them inside this amazing hydroponic system. Alrighty, so it's in the net pot. I'm gonna go ahead and set it right here in the hydroponic system. For right now, I'm gonna go set it in the lower part just because this has water in it right now, or the tops, I don't have those dam in yet. I'm gonna go ahead and just drop it right in there, Get the put the roots right in the water. There we go, she's a growing. Well, now you might ask yourself, Matt, how do those plants get nutrients? Surely they can't get nutrients from the water. We don't have soil in there. We don't have anything that the plants can soak up. The answer is wrong, they do. We'll use a liquid fertilizer. So I'm using this fish fertilizer. You might know I've used fish fertilizer for my outside garden. We're also gonna use this fish fertilizer. Now this fish fertilizer is designed for a hydroponic system. So I'm using one cap per one gallon of water. 
very important that we use distilled water. Uh, if you're on a city, you don't want to use the city water because there's a lot of chemicals in the water, uh, which I'm, I'm in a city, so I'm using distilled water. I guess if you're living on a well, could you use the well water? I can't answer that question. Um, my guess is you probably could, but using the distilled water. So in my black bin, I'm using four gallons of distilled water and I used six caps of this. It says to use this once a week. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test the pH level and a few other things in the water here and there so I can gauge what works best for my environment. I'd recommend the same for you. I'll have to pick up a, a um, testing kit. I'll have it down below in the description where you can pick one up. Also the link for this fish fertilizer. The second part to watering is we do want to water pretty frequently. Right now my schedule is to water from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and I run every every hour for five minutes. So I use a, a automatic uh, switch. Right now I'm using an uh, Alexa plug where I can program it. So right now um, I'm having it start at 7.45, lasting for five minutes, turning off and repeating it all the way until 7 or until 6.45 p.m. because my whole light system turns off at seven o'clock at night. So now that we get our water under control, our plants also need light to grow. So I have growing lights. I'll redo the wiring here a little bit. I'm gonna have three growing lights. I'll have one there, one right there, and one right up there. I have little eye hooks. I'm gonna hang them from there. And I'll have the three growing lights over my plants. We also need to have good airflow and pretty decent temperature. If you're in a basement where it gets below 65 degrees, it's probably not a good place to do it. My basement hovers anywhere from 67 to 70 degrees, same as my upstairs. So right now, these are great growing conditions with the growing lights, my structure, my water, and I have good airflow here. That's what you need. The only thing left is to keep growing. I have my peas. I have a bean. I have a tomato. I have some strawberry plants. I do have some room for other, a couple other. I have broccoli, lettuce, basil, and the rest of my lettuce here on the bottom. So I encourage you to follow me. Hit that subscribe button right down below. Click that bell for notifications. When I create new videos like this, I'll also be posting my statuses on how this hydroponic system works. And who knows, I might have a couple revisions coming out. I'll post some short videos on how the system is doing. Hey, if you're new to this channel, appreciate you considering to thinking about hitting that subscribe button down below. You could also please give this a video a thumbs up and a share. And until next time, keep growing and I'll talk to you later. Hey, you're still here. Appreciate you sticking around watching the rest of the video. Just need to do a quick 20 second closing video for this. Um, make sure you check out me on all of my platforms, Instagram, YouTube, here and here on Facebook, Matt the Garden Guy. That's right. Talk to you guys later.